Hello everyone, today I'm doing a flip through of all my Weekend in Life albums so far. So I'm starting off with this first one. Um, this was like my most fun since <laughs> 2021. I just had the most fun doing like alcohol inks and you know I think Hello Story 3 came out that year. So just these hand cut letters and I really really love, love how it came out. And I have it back with this. And then I guess this this came off. Um, and this should be here. Um, yeah, and then I have my reason why. What dates were we gonna wear this this year? This was um May 10th. Okay, May 10th to May 16th, 2021. And that was the year when we did these um tissue paper things with Ali for prep day. It was fun. So very exciting, very fun album. I love doing these with an intro to our family. It's a little bookmark saying this is us and my family, Aiden, Nulana, our dog Zoe and what she's currently enjoying. And then, so that's this here. And this was like a what currently watching. I remember this now. Currently watching, currently reading type of review. Currently listening to, currently cooking. I really love those circles. And then I started off with the Monday. So Monday, I love these dividers. <laughs> this this style is my favorite. I think. Um. So I have here us working from home. This was 2021 May. So yeah, I was still working from home. Um, food that I made, I made chow. Gratitude, um, summary of the day. And then there's some journaling of the schedule and what we're up to morning, afternoon, evening. And then the last year, this is this year. This was like journaling. Okay, this was my prompt for the day last year versus this year. And then just a summary of the day and the actual activities that happened that day. Oh, I had stamped the back of it. That was fun. And I foiled this Monday page. Then I have the weather. This was good. This is a good album. It's almost off to a good start. I actually haven't revisited this since we did it. And so this is my dentist. She's still my dentist. So it's nice of her to take a picture <laughs> with me. Um, and then I did some, yeah, art and texture paste things. And this is at night time wrapping up that day. So Tuesday, Zoe. Zoe loved hanging out in my craft room. It's funny to see it like so empty based on how full it is right now. I have some albums there, planners. So this is nice. This is Zoe Goes Crazy. Oh, she passed away. Um, she actually passed away in 2022. Um, but she used to go crazy on my husband. <laughs> Walk through the door and I wanted to capture that. And we, he was ill that day, so... I'm sure I got ill shortly after. This is Zoe's dinner. Gratitude. Um, and just, yeah, stories of the day. Tacos for dinner. Um, actual things happening. And I think on this time, I put the weather on the back of this. And then I had some of these prints that I made in the colors of each day to bring it all together. And this was Taco Night, Taco Tuesday, and then my journaling for that day. So coming into Wednesday, mornings look like this. We had tradies working on our deck. Working from home, taking a nap. I was was I pregnant? Yes, I was very pregnant with this one. It was in the middle of my pregnancy. I feel like I'm already tired tomorrow. 
that fits in well there. And then I have Wednesday in the color of that and just keep swimming. Were these prompts from Ali? I can try to remember who may have been. Yeah, and I was I was upset I got sick the following day. Uh, and then you have tea time, reading time, and some photos from our bedroom windows. And Thursday, so we had moved into this house a couple of months before and we just did like we did work continuously on it from the time we bought it the year before. So moving in, we were supposed to finish before we moved in, but it didn't. Um, but just a few like cosmetic things. And so this is, we come to Thursday, yeah, this is all my pregnancy supplements. Um, always the same until it isn't. This is my journaling here. And then we are coming down to the end of the week, I start to see some things not being filled in <laughs> um, but that's okay i feel like all my photos are in and then i have some words in and i have yeah i, have, I feel like i have a good representation of the week and having soup on the deck we had some sun coming so that was nice dishwasher journaling Like this with the book. And the temperature. This was right before winter. This is actually a bit cold. This is autumn in May. Hmm. The sun came out a bit. I love these flowers. We went to the botanical gardens on the weekend. So I got some really nice shots. So far, this is one of my favorite plants, poinsettias, walks, I have this at home. Okay, <laughs> I'm working from home here and I'm seeing some prints in the background. And I have my journaling here. And it's cold, socks on. <laughs> yeah, so this is my 2021 album. And then Sunday we went to the market. a picture of my husband running home just by chance uh, he was training for a marathon he's all, <laughs> most likely gonna say he's always training for a marathon um but anyway um yeah this is him coming home from his sunday run and this is the end of my album so now i'm going to show you 2022 now, Weekend in Life is a product that I really love and I love participating in. It is a lot and so I often find, I guess you saw like by Thursday, you know, the journaling starts to get a bit less but with all these cards and spaces but I always did my long form journaling at the end of each day. Um, but this year I want to do, I want to be an active participant in my album so i think i'm also gonna kind of like a daily journal type vibe where i document as a day goes along it's something that i've been wanting to do as well for like project life and whatnot um so we'll see how we go so this is my 2021 i did the 10 by 8 so i'm gonna um zoom out a bit Yes, 10 by 8 is a bit tough, eh? Um, this is a 10 by 8. 
and then I'm just going to do this. Hopefully it flips, but you can still see. Oh, yeah, so this is my 2022, 2020, yeah, 2022. My son was, um, what, eight months old. This is coming off. It's cold today, so I find this um, adhesive usually kind of gets hard and slides off. So this is my setup, my photos, my journaling. I love my setup. I wanted to keep it simple. Um, so this is music class on a Tuesday. And I love these circles. And <laughs> this photo of my son playing the drums. And then uh, we go in for Wednesday. Now this is actually a week where we traveled. So this was a tricky week and my son started daycare. So <laughs> this week is super busy. And uh, I have all my photos. I think I do photos then I, and I have my embellishments in the setup for my four. And then I am um, and then I do my journaling last, which is what I'm noticing. So what I want to do this year is do my journaling first. And I cut these down. I think I was out of, yeah. But I like that actually, there's a double flip. And then this was the start of our trip. <laughs> so this probably, probably nice to go in now and just, um, stick in anything that's left out. I wanted to put just a white space here. I could add in some things. This is our drive. Um, this is at the airport. Um, we had a really lovely trip. I like doing these. This is at the hotel. Then Saturday, <laughs> let me just notice. So, yeah, this is my first time looking back at these albums. And so, I also love having a photo diary of it all. And I'm pretty sure I took notes. And... Yeah, it would be nice to go back in and just stick some things down. So this is Sunday. And then I had some ephemera from our trip there. So I, I love taking it. This was a, a fun album. 10 by 8 size. It was, it was you know, it was interesting because I had to keep in mind what went away. Um in terms of the orientation of the shots that I took, making sure that they were long. And, um, yeah, this, this was fun. It was a fun size to look in. I will have to use wet line tape for these. I really love this. Yeah, this is actually a good idea for a title page, but I'm not taking up extra space in the album. So I might, I might do that this year, since I'm still undecided about my title page. And so now,
for last year because as you saw I find Weekend in Life this could be such a big project um and last year I, we had so many things happening in April it was Easter we had Dean in Life at the start of the month um and then Weekend in Life at the end of the month so I decided I wanted to do my Weekend in Life I call it Weekend in Life light um and, I, and this is, you know, one that was doable for me based on the season that we were in. It was the 24th to the 30th of April. And I love this coat. And I love our family picture here. <laughs> um, so this was, yeah, this was something that was manageable. I only wanted two, three by four photos a day. Well, I came up with some more and i guess one four by six so i just sort of made it work with what i had um and because i set some boundaries for myself i made it a lot more manageable my husband's cousin came over with his son so that was nice to see them play together and see the cousins together with their sons so it was a nice day um i had a couple extra photos of them playing so i just popped it in and then on our way to work on our way to work April, okay on our way to yeah work and daycare and this is on my way home working from home <laughs> so this was nice this was nice i felt like this was right up my alley i could you know journal every day pop my photos in and I really love, I add some ephemera here. I really loved how this all turned out. And I like using this at the end of my documenting. So this is what my old albums look like. So thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to documenting Wicked in Life on the 22nd of April this year. I hope that you are documenting along with the community or documenting when it suits your life. But let me know if you are participating in Weekend Life this year. Bye!